Okay, we have uh, the Visible Wiki Women Lab, fostering multilingual and decolonizing structured data, narratives on Wikimedia Commons by Who's Knowledge. Okay, let us welcome them and uh, kindly use the hashtag that we have uh, for today's event, Wiki Women Summit, and share sharing is caring so let us share um, our hashtags and our photos and whatever inputs or insights that you have on the summit that we're having today on our social media thank you very much the floor is yours thank you hello hello everybody uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention in this uh, uh, we will do um, a talk, but also we will put our hands on uh, on Visible Wiki Women for some minutes also. So be prepared, have your laptops and cell phones at hand because we will do some a little exercise. So next slide. Um, can we manage the slides? Oh yes, with this. Oh, women in tech. Yeah, <laughs> women in tech. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll say hi. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Sunshine Fiona Komsana. Okay. I am um, yeah. the Visible Wiki Women Campaign Coordinator. I'm an African feminist from Kampala, Uganda. And I can use this. My name is Mariana Fossati from Uruguay. I work at Who's Knowledge as the decolonizing uh, Wikimedia uh, Program Coordinator and also with my colleague. Uh, Sunshine, uh, organizing Visible Wiki Women every year. Uh, next slide. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, is the, um, the red one? Ah, I got it, I got it. Okay, so we'll tell you a little bit about Visible Wiki Women. Uh, I didn't describe what I'm wearing. I am a black woman. I am wearing a bright orange dress by a Kenyan a designer called African Yuva. And uh, our work at Visible Wiki Women is about bringing images of black, brown, trans, indigenous women from mostly um, global majority countries, the global south, uh, to Wikimedia Commons. And we've been doing this work for the last uh, six years, since 2018. And we have together brought more than um, 8,000 uh, images uploaded to Wiki Commons, and we are still counting. And we have done this work, it's very collaborative work with feminist organization, collectives and movements, and um, different editors and groups. And we have been able to do this with also different community organizers. And we'll be continuing this campaign, hopefully for many years to come. Um, yeah, next slide, please. So. Today, uh, we will speak not only about the images itself, but about data and information uh, you can find on Wikimedia Commons each time you see or you upload or you reuse an image. Uh, and one uh, very critical piece uh, nowadays in uh, Wikimedia Commons is uh, structured data on Commons. I am sure that some of you have heard about this, but maybe not everyone or not everyone have had the opportunity to explore structured data on commons. So let me just do a, a little introduction. Uh, with structured data on commons, uh, what we can do is to uh, link or to match uh, images and the, the content and the very meaning of each image to uh, Wikidata items. Um, so for instance, if you, and you can see some examples there, um, a light bubble or a book or a computer or a feminist strike even, <laughs> can be matched with uh, its cue element on Wikidata, and that way we are giving signals to uh, machines uh, to, um, uh, and we are in certain way saying what's the meaning of the image and what elements are in the image. Um, so many different kind of things can be labeled this way. I can, uh, as you can see, 
from you know books, computers, or as uh, uh, historical events like uh, the feminist strike of 8 March 2018, for instance, uh, that already have a Q uh, item on Wikidata. Uh, and by doing this, uh, we are making images uh, machine uh, readable. Uh, but also uh, humans, uh, people can retrieve images in a more nuanced and effective uh, and satisfactory way, hopefully. But we also want to point some problematic and critical aspects of this feature uh, that we have uh, seen in Visible Wiki Women. Uh, through the thousand of images brought to Commons through uh, this campaign, uh, we can start um, experimenting and making some observations about uh, how uh, uh, the plurality of women and womanhood uh, is represented uh, on images and also on data. Uh, so we can start, we, can, we are trying to understand issues around visual and that data gender gap, accessibility because structured data on commons uh, bring um, accessibility features to commons, multilinguality because every item on Wikidata, it is potentially multilingual. Uh, and also we have starting observing the, uh, the biases that are present in automated uh, tags on uh, structured data because the structured data on commons offers um, an experimental tool uh, since several years now to, um, uh, to get automated suggestions for tagging images. Um, but our question is this one. Does the data tell the stories behind the images? Does the data tell the stories? We, we know uh, the context uh, of that uh, is part of the image, the narratives, the different narratives, because not all the nouns, not all the concepts are the same, uh, or have, have the same level of, um, uh, uh, you know, images are very, Mm, uh, it can have very different meanings depending of who is um, interpreting the images, what's the interpretation of the images. Uh, the semantic of the images can vary a lot and also the narratives. So let, let's share some stories about images. Yes, let's do that. So uh, when I mentioned earlier that we are work visible wiki women, um, is about bringing images of women. Uh, we should, I should also have mentioned that we are not very attached to the idea of womanhood. And um, that also um, our idea of visible wiki women is also to encompass uh, non-binary people. And this is an image of um, George Kizzy, who is a non-binary uh, Ugandan um, artist, um, makeup artist who uh, uses fashion and art to be able to push the boundaries um, of what it means to be uh, someone who is in fashion, what it means to be someone who can use makeup and really pushing the, the boundaries around gender and around, um, around binaries through, um, through clothes and through makeup. And when we look at this image, uh, when we look at that, the, the, this image particularly does not have um, any structured data that is attached to it. And the idea of bringing this, um, the stories like this is we want to be able to create the kind of data that we want um, to show the plurality of our human experiences, especially as people who um, standard of humanity or standard of who is a person who is a human being does not fit within um, within um, colonized or within our hegemonic structures of what it means to be human. So that is part of our decolonizing project to be able to expand um, our the understanding of data and also the understanding of, of imagery uh, in terms of what is represented and what tells our stories. So. Um, 
This is another image on the Visible Wiki Women uh, 2023 um, uh, season, I think. And uh, once more, we, uh, we have the, this image. It's a unionist from Brazil, but for instance, in the file name, we don't have the, the real name. We don't, how, we don't know if, um, if she's willing to share or not the name, the real name. Uh, so, uh, in the um, structured data um, section, there is no Wikidata item. Um, there is, uh, the captions are not really multilingual. There are not many information. Uh, so, sometimes photos are just taken in big events and just uploaded uh, in mass. Uh, in, in batch, and especially when these photos are about women, uh, women from, from the global majority, and uh, the context can be so important that the images itself, uh, we don't know, for instance, if she is a candidate, uh, if she's a, a union leader, uh, all that uh, things make uh, women visible too. And, this one is um, another one from Visible with Women 2020, I think. Uh, she's uh, Sara Maldoror, um, uh, an Afro-Caribbean filmmaker. Uh, she passed away in 2020 uh, because COVID. And uh, this is a photo that actually is uh, illustrating her biography on Wikipedia. Um, and this one is very good uh, described in terms of structured data uh, there because probably because her, uh, once uh, she died, um, many, inf uh, not that much information, but more information was available online. Uh, so you can find all in, uh, also a Wikidata item about her which is not uh, the, the reality for the previous one and for many others. Uh, so, uh, but one in interesting thing about this image was you can see that she's a woman with a microphone, a okay. hand, right? So, uh, uh, and there are some um, um, structured data items related with this picture, including uh, Sarah Maldoror, a uh, wiki, uh, Wikidata item, including the, a microphone, <laughs> including uh, winkless, including elements that are like a dis dissection of the person in different parts. And we wonder, is this meaningful? Uh, this kind of very detailed description is all right. It uh, creates or it represents the story uh, that make justice to this woman and her uh, very important career as, fil and as independent filmmaker. And one curiosity about this is that if you visit, there is a link in every Wiki Wikimedia Commons page called information page. It's not very visible. It's like a behind the scenes page for every image. And that in that uh, information page, you can find more metadata, and uh, you can find a, 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 almost at the bottom a section with the suggested tags from the automated system for suggested tags. That uh, tool is provided for a partnership between Wikimedia Foundation and Google uh, for images recognition. And you can find there different uh, potential categories or tags actually for describing her, this woman. And one of these is art, uh, musician, uh, art, um, uh, music artist, spoken person. Uh, so we wonder uh, how this um, image recognition system can create um, or suggest tags that really misrepresent what you can see in the image it's true, it's a woman with a microphone, but she's not a musician, for instance. Every woman la uh, with a microphone looks like a, a singer or like a, a music artist, or specifically black women looks, look like a um, music artist. 
uh, how much, uh, how many men look like this for the machine, uh, the, the automatic image um, recognition. So we, we are just documenting these problems and our uh, whole consideration here is the politics of images and data sets. And let me share this uh, quote from Kate Crawford and Trevor uh, Peglen. Uh, from excavating AI, the politics of images in machine learning training sets. Uh, it's an excellent article. The whole endeavor of collecting images, categorizing them, and labeling them is itself a form of politics, filled with questions about who gets to decide what images mean and what kind of social and political work those representations perform. So our invitation is to have this question in my, this critical question in mind, every time you see an image, you tag an image, or you decide to not, to not tag it in, a spec in certain ways. And this, the, here come our exercise. Yes. Um, so for this uh, particular exercise, having, we hope we've fired you up a little bit and made you feel like uh, doing um, work on structured data, especially for images of women and non-binary people is revolutionary political work. And we invite you to scan our QR code, which will take you to the Visible Wiki Women category on um, Wikimedia Commons. And to find um, any images uh, there under that you can be able to add um, structured data to um, right now. So whatever image you feel like is lacking in structured data or you want to be able to add structured data to it this is an invitation to um to do that yes does the qr code open okay great take like five minutes to find an image and look not only the image but the structured data in what language is the structured data uh is a wikidata item about the woman there uh, what other suggestions? You, can you find the, the automatic suggestions or not? What those suggestions say? Things like that. Do your analysis and then we can start the Q&A and we want to hear your observations and your stories as, about these images. You can speak between you e, 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 to, to, to one another, right? Eh? Um, this, this is a workshop part, so you can be noisy, no? <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> speak to each other, speak to your partners, your, show to each other what do you see in structured data. If you need, we, we can also try to sh show you in on screen also. Are we able to open it? I don't know, but maybe we can try. Right. Turn your head if you don't want to be on. Wiki women. Wiki. Oh, yeah, Wiki women. Wiki women. 
Ricky Women and Allies, thank you. Thank you, Allies, for being here. Thank you for your support. And while we're waiting, while we're doing this exercise, I want to give a, a big cheer out for what's happening Saturday. Wiki Women Lunch, historic. Be there. Woo! So this is where the QR code would lead you. So our ask is that you go select um, any of the images um, in the category of visible wiki women um, and um, just like check the structured data below that image. And our invitation is to, you know, make observations if images don't have um, data also for you to uh, be able to add any structured data that you, that you feel um, could be um, useful in interpreting that image as well. So really that is the goal of this particular two minutes that's left of this exercise. So there's multiple images. Could you scroll down? Could you? I don't know if scroll and down, but English is not my first language. Um, yes, so just look at uh, some of the amazing images that we have uploaded and yeah. Check the structured data. Also, no pressure. I think um, our five minutes are up. Does anyone have some things to say or just like share an observation, share feedback about your experience? Like I said, no pressure, but don't give me Zoom silence. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. Anything, anybody? So I'm, I'm Lucy, um, uh, I'm from England, I'm a dark haired white woman. Um, so I've been adding some data um, to a page for Anna Monterosa de Lavalleja, who is a very famous Uruguayan woman and I'm very embarrassed by my extremely English accent. But what's interesting is I've been doing it on my mobile phone. Um, so it was really easy to like add a description. There was no description of this image that had been uploaded as part of the program. Um, and that was really easy to do. But when it came to adding categories on my mobile phone, that was much, much trickier. Um, and I just think it struck me that there's this disparity in how the, the tools that we usually use, you know, on our computers and laptops work and have different functionality on a mobile phone. So that's another, I guess, kind of uh, something to think about uh, when we're designing these these programs, perhaps with people who don't have access to, to laptops. All right. Thank you so much, Lucy. Marcella. Um, I had a really interesting conversation with uh, Mariana, which was looking predominantly at the African woman, a uh, woman in Ghana holding a bag, um, where there's almost an invisibilization of, of people in the images. And Mariana was so gracious to explain to me that sometimes there's an active preference to not be named. But oftentimes, you know, you're, you're engaged, so your picture's taken, you end up on the internet, but you're completely invisible. Um, no name data, no context of the picture. And I, I thought that was really powerful as something that we could disrupt, which is inviting people to share in their agency on the internet. Thank you so much. Uh, we could take one more, I think. Anything, anybody? Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, I still have things to say, but we appreciate the applause. Um, 
So we thought that we could end by just talking a little bit more about the campaign. And um, Masana gave me just the language right now about um, this being not just political work, but also work of not just filling gaps, but also correcting historic or um, apparent injustices or invisibilizations. And so our campaign this year, so every year we have a theme, is on body plurality. So all those other hashtags are body plurality in different languages, um, Portuguese and, and Spanish and it's is Zulu because we also would like to continue practicing also um, multilinguality within our work. And um, we are celebrating the full uniqueness of our plural body sizes, shapes and identities online. And, um, and one of the very important things that we did when we were thinking about this theme was um, reading feminist theory around what it means to um, be a person with a body, but also to be a person with a body in, um, in a world, both virtual and physical, that um, says beauty is one standard and beauty is one thing, and being um, visible means one thing. So we read stories about um, black athletes, uh, for example, like Casta Semenya, and what World Athletics um, Authority have um, done in terms of uh, violating the, the sacredness of bodies that do not conform to a particular standard. And we read um, stories of, of Indian athlete Santi, and we, be, we were able to, be, to contextualize what body plurality would look like. And also our invitation for Visible Wiki Women this year is to find images that are of different bodies, shapes, colors, you know. Um, I like color, if you can't tell. And um, our campaign goal this year, which started in April, is to bring uh, 2,500 images uh, to Wiki Commons under the Visible Wiki Women 2023 category. And that work is not just about, you know, quantity of images. It's also um, politicizing why images do not exist. And we do that with care and consent and ensuring that we get the names. Like we ask um, the people, for example, whose images that we take, how would you like to be identified? What are your pronouns? From what part of the world um, are you from? Which place do you call home? So that that information, because we would like to see how much structured data travels in terms of informing um, image interpretation by machines. And the, the part about, you know, care, practice, consent, I have, we have a, an interesting story. So I was part of the Changing Faces, Changing Spaces conference, which um, is um, Pan-African LGBTI um, queer movements organization. I, I mean, organizations, organizers, movements, and collectives. And we're very excited to be part of that. One of the things that we do is photo booths uh, to go there and take images of all these amazing African queer organizers and get their information, how they want to be identified, the kind of work that they do so that it is part of their descriptions. And when I, came, when I went back home to Uganda the week after, well, Uganda has been leading this anti-LGBTI uh, movement for, for, from behind uh, for a long time. That's the, the, the week that the president of Uganda sent it to the anti-homosexuality law. And one of the things that we quickly had to do was to go back to the Ugandan um, queer organizers that we had, whose images we had taken, whose consent we had received, to say, would you like... Would you still like us to share your images on Wiki Commons? Because this is what it means when your image is out there. And would you still like those descriptions and identifications to be up? Because we want to be able to also understand that it's, it's important to be visible. And sometimes visibility is resistance, but also anonymity is a form of survival for many people in different contexts. And to also think, like, start thinking, what does it mean to, you know, ask for speedy deletion and um, take images, for example, at um, events uh, in people in countries with uh, difficult contexts where you don't have to show the person's face. We've worked with um, 
wiki editor us to do illustrations instead because all of that like art is also a part of um, visibilizing women and now the timer is red so in case you're curious about how to get involved in the visible wiki women campaign cover attend events please get consent um, we have a photo booth at Wikimania. Find us at our photo booth right outside. Um, and also we'll be at, on the fourth floor at the main hall uh, later. So we have tools to support people to install photo booths, which we think are feminist corners in big conferences, because big conferences can be overwhelming. So if you are looking for a corner to recharge and, and a, a feminist photo booth is a great space to, to be. Um, share your existing photos. So if you take pictures here and you have those consents, please um, share those uh, under the free license. Illustrate if the, those, if you know illustra illustrators, if you work with um, graphics and you're able to illustrate different women, um, different uh, non-binary people's um, realities and upload and then promote. So we are going to ask for promotion this is free advert uh, <laughs> kidding but spread the word uh, visible wiki women women of colors body plurality is our theme for the year and in september um in celebration of all the amazing work of women in sports we thought we'd do this during world cup but we were too ambitious um <laughs> we'll be unpacking body plurality in sports so we are having a visible wiki women photo and at contest we'll have flyers throughout wikimania and you're welcome to join us um to also watch the fifa women's world cup final this saturday so <laughs> yeah so come to our photo booth we are around um in case you can't tell i'm wearing very bright orange you can't miss me today and um, Marianne and I and everybody at whose knowledge is really glad we are able to be part of the Wiki Women Summit. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for bringing sunshine into the room.